Hello everyone. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video to give you some important information that I thought was important. You know, I usually talk about financial literacy, but I also believe that health is wealth. So this video is also about uh, something I saw online. You probably won't be able to see this completely. I'm going to drop my phone. But um, it talks about a disturbing uh, article that weed killer ingredients uh, was found and tied to, uh, as tied to a cancer, was found in 80% of U.S. urine samples. And that is very odd that the test that they did could conclude that this, uh, what we call glyphos glyphosate, is found in 80% of U.S. urine samples. And this glyphosate is also found in Roundup, weed killer. And so this has been going on for a long time. Now, it used to be owned by one company, but now it's also owned by Bayer, B-A-Y-E-R. And Bayer plans on eliminating using glyphosate in their product, Roundup, for local users, for the average person in 2023. But they're still going to allow professionals and farmers to use it in their product. So it doesn't make much sense because if the farmers are still using it, then it's possible to still get in our system. And the test revealed that 80% of US Americans have this glyphosate in their system that is possibly a cancer causing agent. Now the Supreme Court overruled on Bayer when they tried to do a bid to shut down the other ongoing lawsuits that they have concerning this problem. Bear has already lost a lawsuit to a California man in the value of $25 million. Uh, this was a gentleman in California who caught cancer and was able to prove it was because of the glyphosate in the Roundup that he'd been using in his yard for years. So they're going to replace it for the average person, but still allow the professionals and the farmers to use it. I read one article that said that this stuff was found in cereal and baby formula and a few other things. There's a toxicologist named Alex Temkin. Um, he said that children are going to continue to get exposed to this cancer-causing agent daily just through the food alone. So it, it's pretty interesting. I'm not going to read this whole article, but they did find detectable traces of this glyphosate. Um, and it's an active ingredient in herbicides sold around the world. And of course, like I said already, you know, in the Roundup brand, they found that it's even in children from ages ranging from six to 18. Uh, one of the last things I'll read, it says more than 200 million pounds of glyphosate are used annually by U.S. farmers on their field. Weed killer is sprayed directly over genetically engineered crops such as corn and soybeans, which is used in almost everything, and also over non-genetically engineered crops such as wheat and oats and as desiccant to dry crops out prior to harvest. Excuse my reading. Many farmers also use it on the fields before the growing season, including spinach, growers, and almond producers. It is considered the most widely used herbicide in history. So Monas oh sorry. Monsanto and the company that bought it in 2018, Bayer, have maintained that glyphosate and Roundup products are safe and that residues in food and in human urine are not a health risk. So, of course, the companies that make the money off of it are saying that this product is not that bad. And, uh, of course, if you don't want to be sued, you know, that would probably be their best stance to take. Um, academic and private researchers have been noting high levels of this herbicide in uh, analysis of human urine samples for years. So this has been going on for a while. But the CDC has only recently started examining the extent of human exposure of this glyphosate in the U.S. And, it work, and its work comes at a time of mounting concerns and controversy over how pesticides in food and water impact human and environmental health. 
So this is a very interesting article. Go look it up, research it for yourself. Uh, like I said, I haven't made a video in a while. I'll start making a few more, but go check that out for yourself. And my whole point is there are certain things we can do to not have to deal with this craziness that is happening. And I just want to motivate everyone to start trying to grow certain things on your own, whether it's your own herbs, whether it's basil, cilantro start with something small get some containers uh you can grow your own peppers you can grow your own spinach you can there's so much depending on how much space you have just try to grow something on your own it will taste fresh it will be amazing and you'll be proud of yourself and then that's one less product that you can digest without having to worry about whether or not it has glyphosate in it or not once again thank you and also remember like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. I'm going to continue to make uh, more videos. Your health is wealth, and we want to be healthy. And some people and certain organizations, they don't care if you want to be healthy. They're going to do what it takes for them to make the money. Once again, do your own research. Look up the things that I'm saying. That way you can find out and know for yourself, and you might be able to find even more that is beneficial towards you concerning this subject than I have even brought to the table. But I thought it was very interesting and it seems like it kind of slid under the table and this should be much more important and should get much more attention, seeing how dangerous cancer has been in our community, seeing how much damage cancer has called, caused uh, nationwide, worldwide to so many people. We should do whatever we can to fight against cancer and those who are survivors of cancer, I'm just looking at, uh, you know, this pink, just notice this pink uh, pen that I had right there. But other than that, that's just how I feel about that. Tell me how you feel about it or if there's some inf information that you found. Because ultimately, we can help each other out by sharing this information and educating one another. Be blessed and thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe.